in the wilderness, John the Baptist began to preach, say, You repent from your sin, for the kingdom of heaven is certain. For he came to prepare the way for Messiah. He's calling you unto repentance. He's calling you unto salvation. The Messiah bless a oh, oh. Let us sing it now. The Messiah bless a ringing. The Messiah bless a ringing. The Messiah bless a ringing. Oh, oh. Let me hear you sing. The Messiah bless a ringing. The Messiah bless a ringing. The Messiah bless a ringing. Oh, oh. And he said, For I come to baptize you with water unto repentance. For he that come in that time is greater. He shall baptize you with the Holy Ghost and fire. He will give you eternal life. For he will give you the peace of life. The Messiah bless a ringing. Oh, oh. Let us sing it now. The Messiah bless a ringing. The Messiah bless a ringing. The Messiah bless a ringing. Oh, oh, let me hear you ladder. The Messiah bless a ringing. The Messiah bless a ringing. The Messiah bless a ringing. Oh, oh. Oh, my brothers, the sun is going down. Oh, my daughter, the day is getting dark. It is time to believe in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, my son, the day is going down. Oh, my daughter, the day is getting dark. It is time to believe in the name of Jesus Christ. Every day for the thief, one day for the honor of the house, prepare your mind, hey, to meet the Lord, to meet the Sukhani King. For he shall come from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel, with the trump of God. He's coming to bring peace, joy, sorrows, woe to the inhabitants of the earth, for the wrath of God is coming upon them. Every day for the thief, I say, one day, one day, for the honor of the house, my son. Every day for the thief, I say, one day, one day, for the owner of the house, my friend. Many people are sleeping, but many people are praying. The Messiah bless a ring. Oh, oh. And many people are preaching, many people committing sin. The Messiah bless a ring. Oh, oh. Let us fade it out. The Messiah bless a ring. The Messiah bless a ring. The Messiah bless a ring. Oh, oh, let me hear you now. The Messiah bless a ringing. The Messiah bless a ringing. The Messiah bless a ringing. Oh, oh. Hello. You welcome to your favorite program, The Moment of Change, with me, your anchor man, Pastor Innocent Jackson, ALI. The name of this program is The Moment of Change. You're welcome. By the grace of God, I'm also the pastor of Bonnegay Christian Church International here in Palma de Mallorca, Spain. Shall we pray? Father Lord, I demand, O oh God, that as I begin to download your word, let every viewer, O oh God, begin to be blessed. In the name of Jesus Christ. Give me the utterance. Let my flesh go down while your spirit in me rise. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, everlasting Father. For in Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. God bless you. Welcome again. My topic tonight is the repercussions of walking naked. I repeat, the repercussions of walking nakedly in the streets, at home, anywhere you go. It is a taboo to walk naked as a Christian, as a human being that is made by God. You cannot be a nuisance in the streets. You have to put yourself together, whether you are a man or you are a woman. You are not supposed to dress people, see your nakedness everywhere you go to. You have to cover up. That is what the Bible says. The Bible says, Second Corinthians 5 3. He said, If so be that we be clothed, we shall not be found naked. If so be that we be clothed, we shall not be found naked. The Bible says in book of Genesis chapter 3, verse 21. He says, I go a slow animal, a kid animal. And cover Adam and Eve with the skin of the animals from the neck to the toe. There was no exposure of any part of your body. Adam and Eve was covered up. They were covered up, no part of nakedness. So 
If you read the preceding verses, the Bible says that Adam and Eve, after they heard the voice of God, verse 8 and 9 and 10 of Genesis chapter 3, after Adam and Eve heard the voice of God, they went to hide themselves from God. Why? Because they found themselves naked when they sinned against God. When God told them, this tree, don't touch it, talk more of it, even eating from it. I pray tonight, as we get to watch this program, God is going to turn your life around. Amen. We should not walk naked, 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 in the name of Jesus Christ. So our topic today today, the repercussions of walking naked. Let us read from the Bible. Amen. Let us read from the Bible. Book of Genesis chapter 9, from verse 21. From verse 20 to 27, I read. He said, And Noah began to be an husband man, and he planted a vineyard, and he drank of the vine, of the wine, and was drunken, and he was, you know, uncovered within his tent. Within his tent, he was uncovered. The cloth was done away. No wrapper, no trouser, nothing whatsoever. Nothing was on his body. He was naked. Let us watch what happened next. Verse 22. Verse 20. Verse 22, yes, verse 22. And Ham, the father of Canaan, saw the nakedness of his father, and told his two brethren without. And Shed and Japheth took a garment and laid it upon their shoulders, and went backward and covered the nakedness of their father, and their faces were backward. And they saw not their father said nakedness. Amen. That was verse 23. Verse 24 now. And Noah awoke from the wine and knew with what his younger son had done unto him. And he said, Cursed be Kina, a servant of servants shall thou be unto thy brethren. Verse 26. And he said, Blessed be the Lord, God of Sheb and Kina. Amen. And Cana shall be his servant. Praise God. Verse 27. God shall enlarge Japheth, and he shall dwell in the tents of Shem and Cana. And be, and Cana shall be his servants. Praise God. We're talking about the repercussions of nakedness. Amen. One of the repercussions of dressing naked, whether we take the house in your vicinity or outside when you are going outside as a Christian I'm speaking so much to Christians because I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a, by the grace of God I'm a man of God I'm talking too much to Christians you know by the grace of God I'm a child of God I'm a Christian and I have to be a Christian before I become a preacher if I'm not a Christian I'm not born again I can't, if I preach I'm just preaching zero so I'm talking to believers here you know that one of the disadvantages or uh, repercussions we get from being naked is that People will see your shame. People will see your shame that you're supposed to be covered. You will see your, your shame that you're hiding. The Bible says, Book of Revelation, chapter 16, verse 15. Jesus Christ said, He said, Behold, I come like a thief. He said, And whosoever garment is not covered, they will see his shame. So when you are covered up, they will not see your shame. Christian believer these days, they are promoting promiscuities. We're supposed to go to the church of God to learn how to dress up. We're supposed to go to the house of God to learn how to cover it up. But what do you see today? That is where the unbeliever, they go and to the church to go and learn how to dress nakedly. See, I can't go to that church. I let the pastor wear dress. And that pastor wear is dressing zero. You can see the upper part of the of the of the secret here of the woman upper part. Any dressing that the woman dress and the, the V is showing from the V is a sin against God. Because you are promoting immorality and promiscuity. We are not supposed to be test up and feel you know feel immoral when we are in the house of God. We are not supposed to see your nakedness. You are supposed to cover them. See what I put on this man here. They saw his shape. No one was he, he got drunk here. And after he got drunk. He threw away his clothes, but the sun was around. The name of this, the jungle sun was Ham. And Ham could not take cloth and cover. What happened? He was mocking his father. Amen. Number two reason of repercussions that somebody will get is that, amen, 
begin to get mockery. People will begin to mock you. Number one, people will see your shame. That's the area you're supposed to cover it. I see some young men today, they wear jeans and, and they pull it down or trouser. You are seeing part of their naked body at the back. They put their trouser down. What is it for? And they go to church too. It's not good. You are promoting immorality and promiscuity. I come to tell you today, if I don't tell you the truth, God will hold me responsible. As I tell you, ladies and gentlemen, it's not enough for you to church and cover it up. We are the Christians. An image of Christ to promote morality and discipline to the society. When you watch me on the screen, you'll be excited that that is representing Christ. When I see you on the street as a, as a Christian, I should see that you are representing Christ. Praise the Lord. Anywhere you go, if you see a mechanic, you see that that's a mechanical uniform. If you see a doctor, you see doctor, you see you know, nurses, you see nurses. But why can we not recognize Christians? We're supposed to recognize this as Christians. We don't promote nakedness. We don't promote promiscuity. And the they, they son saw, saw Noah uh, nakedness and began to mock him. And then, when you are mocking someone, he's drunk, but you will see Noah after he recollect himself. And when Noah recollect himself back or recollected himself back, the Bible says Noah caused his own child. He caused Cana that I'm gave birth to. I'm blessed. Japheth and Shem that cover the nakedness of their father. How did they cover the nakedness, the nakedness of their, their father? They went backward and with their, they went back and with their face backward, they covered the father nakedness with a big wrapper. Praise God. And so that was what they did. They refused to look at their father nakedness as a sign. And their father was wrought with the younger one. Say, why did you learn? Because they were not around when I was naked. Now they came, you reported it to them that are naked. So they found some solution to it. Ladies and gentlemen, you, nobody will find a solution to your nakedness. You have to discipline yourself and cover up. Because if I talk to you now, you may not even take. You have to be disciplined and learn from the Bible, the word of God. But as a child of God, I am talking to you that we are tired of promoting nakedness in the churches, in any way you go to, Christians are not known again. We will take the word this is same. Clothes that are made for singers to dance in the in the in the, in the discotheque. What do you call it in the, 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 the disco hall? They, they, they say put on the dress. They now copy it and be dressing in the street. Supposed to be for the inside for the other people. And the Christian this it, ah, it is very good. I will let go and say this cut. I will this cut. And they saw it and bring promiscuity, promoting evil inside the church. Ladies and gentlemen. The Bible says, book of Matthew 16 26. It says, For what shall it profit a man if he gain the taste of this world and lose his own soul? Noah was naked within his vicinity. You say, Well, I'm not going out yet. I can be naked inside the house. No. Noah was naked here. As far as you have other people that are watching inside your house, you have to cover it up. You cover up yourself. You dress and cover up as a child of God. You are going out, you cover up. You see, we don't follow fashion of the world. The world will learn from us. I like the Yoruba. They, they saw Rabba, Boba, Rabba. The Yoruba I used to know. They saw Boba, Rabba. Many people learned from there. They, 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 they took Boba, Rabba from there. And there was no V-shape. It was rat neck. And when the V-shape come up, they began to expose their naked part of their, of their what do you call it for women? Of their breasts. And they began to promote proscrities. And the latest fashion people are not showing now, I don't know. You need some people have been doing them, you need to talking about them, they have them now. Some who are not, who are Christian, who are born again. They are doing them. And they open part of their body, they show, after they have shown a nice cloth, nice wrapper, they will put net that you can be seeing them. You can see that petrol. Spanish call it petrol. So they can be seeing it. And they are a Christian. You will put a net here, so they can be seeing it, and you will bring it, bring it up. So you know, you can see, what are you promoting? Uh, there is no time to preach the gospel. What you are promoting is your nakedness. Shame out to you, believers of Christ. Learn the Bible. Look at what happened to the man that was naked here. And the son did not cover his nakedness. He was angry with the son. But when the two sons came back, Shem and Japhet, they covered up their father and said, Father, we are sorry. Why were you drunk? He said, I drank from the wine here. Yeah, that's why I'm naked. He said, Father, take time. And the, the father also learned from that. And so we have to know that we should take responsibility of our dressing. Let us promote moral art to the world system. Our dressing can attract people. Amen. 
The number of Jezebel in the Bible, if you read the book of 2 Kings, Jezebel. You know, Jezebel was found when Jehu went to slay him. When Jehu, the, you know, came and he didn't like the way that Jezebel was dressed, Jehu commanded that he should be thrown down upstairs. And they threw Jezebel down from the up to downstairs. And she scattered in pieces because I've been prophesied before that that's how she, she's going to die. And why? Jezebel was dressing nakedly and she was painting her face like masquerade. Christians, do you decorate your face? The only person I was found in the Bible, book of um, uh, second case, when we find uh, 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 Jezebel dressed up, painting her face like masquerade, was, uh, uh, that was the only place. And it was an unbeliever, not a Christian. So who are you imitating today? You pack all the paint in this world, Color your faces down. You say, oh, this pastor is an old time religion preacher. If I don't preach this message to you now, you will go to hell. God will judge you for everything you are doing. You will find yourself in hell fire because many are there now because of this moral, immoral dressings. Because of immoral behavior. Praise the Lord. Amen. The Bible says that God looked in the heart and in the body. When I preach such a message in churches, People get infuriated and they are comfortable. Pastor, no. He goes and talking about the, the heart, not the body. But the Bible says the heart and the body goes together. God sees the heart, but we see the body. We don't see your heart, what you are carrying your heart. So your body, what you are putting in your body, identifies who you are. And you see some Christian girls wearing tight along the road. Tight. Supposed to be inside clothes. You wear inside a corner with upper. They tell you, I see that there are doctors everywhere. And they, and they are they go to church, they even go to church of God. To come and bring evil to the church of God. And God will judge you for being promoting nakedness and for being naked. Ladies and gentlemen, my topic still remain the repercussion of dressing naked. If you dress naked and promote immoral art, you are going to go to hell. And as many men and as many women you led to hell to your nakedness, God is going to judge you for it. See, I, did, I didn't mean it, I just said that. You have something in your mind. The Bible said of Romans chapter 12, verse 1 and 2. Let us go there. He said, God looked into the heart and into a man. On your body, God is interested. Romans chapter 12, verse 1 and 2. God is interested in what you put on in your body and what you put on in your heart. The two goes together. Romans 12, verse 1. He said, I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that you present your body. Where? Your body. Where your heart, no, your body, your body, your body, present your body to be what to be holy, amen. Your body as a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable before God, which is your reasonable, reasonable services. Your body should be presented holy and acceptable. If God comes to your house now, you will find mechanics, you are opening part of your body, and you have other similar within your house there, and you are naked to, to, to promote what, amen. And you go outside to the market to buy something. Or you are going to the market, you are going to the to the to the to your, your working place. To your office to work. And you are promoting priorities. You say it doesn't mean you go and look at the art. God doesn't mean anything. You are promoting something. If you don't learn from it now from the Bible, Sarah will not dress like that immoral. Amen. Dockers in the Bible will not dress like that. Esther in the Bible that says in the book of um, uh, Esther chapter 4 verse. 17 to 19. He said, if I perish, I perish. He was involved in fasting and prayer. No time to dress nakedly. One of the things that the king Ahasuerus accepted Esther to be, to replace, you know, to replace the lady that fell from the, from, from the king's palace. Amen. Was Esther dressed modesty. We have to dress modesty. So Vashti, Esther replaced Vashti as the queen to Ahasuerus because Vashti was not ready to obey the king's word. And Esther dressed so morally and she was acceptable. Verse 2 of Romans 12. Now, the first one presents your body as a living sacrifice. Verse 2 now. He said, And be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewal of your mind. Verse 1 says your body. Verse 2 says your mind. Amen. So your body, go look at it. Then your body, your mind, which is your heart now, God looks at 
at it so much. Ladies and gentlemen, my topic still remain, you know, the repercussions of dressing naked. You say, well, I'm just at home. Even though you are at home, covered up. Well, I'm just, uh, I quit the church. They don't talk to us in our church. It doesn't mean anything. It goes, it's okay. I'm not preaching church. I'm preaching moral arts, moral behavior. I don't know the church you belong to. But what I'm talking about is that your life must promote moral to society. He said, Pastor, it's not by tying tying your ear to your head. All people that are tired are pretenders. You tie your but don't pretend. If people pretend that they don't, then you tie your number, but don't pretend. The example, the Bible is simple of um, uh, first Timothy, second Timothy now, chapter 4, amen, verse 12. He said, Timothy, do not let anyone despise thy youth. He said, Be thou an example of the believers. Second Timothy, uh, chapter 4, and verse 12. 12. He said, Do not let any man despise your youth, but be thou an example of the believers of Christ. Let us promote moralities. Amen. Let us promote morals. Praise the Lord. He said, We are in a new generation. A generation that forget God, God will be angry with them. Let's forget to me. I'll talk to you today, man. The repercussions of dressing naked. You don't know where we go to. We must cover up. Our children are not supposed to say our naked. They say their children. Who told you? <laughs> our children are not supposed to say it. I say, mature somebody. No, dress up. Father, dress up. Woman, dress up. I said, taboo for you to be naked and bathing your child. A grown child, one year, two years. Bathing her. Bathing your naked inside, this inside the bedroom. It's a sin. Because as I begin to watch you, begin to. That's so mommy be. That's so daddy be. You are supposed to call. That is not for them. It's for your privacy. And you must keep your private very, very moral and secret to God. Let us not pollute the world. Let us repair the world. When the world is getting spoiled, Christians should stand to repair it. Let us identify you as a Christian. Amen. The Bible says, Book of Acts 16 11. He said, The Christians were called, the disciples were called Christians first in Antioch. How do you recognize them for behaving like Christ? Are you Christ like? Amen. Do you wear trousers and wear trousers eating rats? The one that at the rat ate, you are promoting and you are a Christian, you wait to the church. Oh my God. Tell God anybody wait to my church, to our church. If you want to promote it, we'll go, we'll go for the waist there. You must stop that immoral behavior. You must be disciplined. Rat eating trousers. You, you, you carry to the church and wear your Christian. What are you promoting? Immoral art. It's supposed to be mad people that are wearing that one. Mad people. And only mad people dress naked without shame. Christians, you are mad. Repent. If you are dressing naked to the church, to the street, to the marketplaces, and you are to, to the office, you are a mad person. Because mad people dress naked without shame. Learn from the word of God and you will be saved. Amen. Now the third reason why you must not dress naked, the repercussions. People will laugh at you. They will laugh at you. Amen. The, the, the son of Jeff, the son of um, Noah laugh at him. Amen. Number five. He says, um, um, irresponsible people will come and be talking to a married woman. Hello, please. I want to be my wife. Because you are dressing naked. Because you are promoting what they are not supposed to see. Please, please I just want to make a friend with you to be my wife. Mm -hmm. I'm a Christian. They are not chasing you. Irresponsible people will chase you. Thinking that you are valuable for them. If you cover up and you are a married woman, they know that you are a married woman. If you cover up as a young girl, you know that you are ready. That is why many young girls are looking for a husband without getting. You say, I'm a pastor, I'm, 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 I, need, I need the husband. But they are dressing. You cover your face, dress very immorally, you are seeing naked part of your body. And I can't talk to you. When I talked to my wife before I married, she wasn't dressing naked. I said it because I'm born again. I said, we will born again to, to stop me at home, not to fight me. So what I'm talking about, now people dress naked without shame. Jesus Christ said, you must dress and cover up. There are different ways of covering up. We have somebody that, that covers his nakedness, amen, but yet, amen, is the, 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 the garment are been stained. We have people who are naked, they need to cover up. And there's some person covered by nakedness, but their garment are been stained. That's why we have spiritual nakedness, then we have physical nakedness. So spiritual one is 
what we do not see, but the person is a sinner, is committing sin. He does com com he commit fornication, he commit adultery, he commit different type of smoke and drink, he does different type of sin, he lies. These are spiritual ones. And they are staining their garment. And so people say, uh, it's not by physical one. You can cover physically. And spiritually, you can also cover up. If you, are, if you repent and give your life to Christ and walk in righteous living, you will see that you begin to walk in righteousness. Amen. But if your garment is stained, my God, you mean one, you cover up. Number two, that your garment protect it so that you will not stay. Let's go to Zechariah. Zechariah chapter 3, from verse 1. Amen. The Bible says so. Amen. I have it of hand. The Bible said, and the spirit, Zechariah said, and the spirit of the Lord showed to me Joshua the high priest that stand before the throne of God. And Satan there was time to rebuke him. Why? The garment of Joshua the high priest was stained. He was stained with sin. He was stained. Are you a Christian committing sin? Are you a Christian believer? You are a man committing adultery? You are a man committing fornication? You are a woman committing adultery? You are a woman committing fornication? You are stealing your garment as a Christian. You are stealing your garment. Joshua the high priest here, yeah, the garment was stained. The garment was The garment was stained. And the Bible says that God opened the eyes of Zachariah to see that the garment was stained. Amen. The garment was stained. Was stained. And he was rebuking. Satan then was standing. Oh Lord, look at your son. The garment is stained. He's a sinner. And he was rebuking him. And God said, What happened to this? Look at the garment is stained. And he's a sinner. And God looked at it. It's, it's really true. He's a sinner. And he said, Pastor. Joshua was a priest and a pastor. But yet the garment was stained. So until your garment is purified in righteous living, you will not make eternal life. Amen. The Bible says, Book of Revelation, chapter 20, verse 15. He said, Verse 14 and 15 said, A book was opened. The second book was opened. And which of that name was not found in the book of life was cast to the lake of fire. If you promote nakedness, promote promiscuity, you are going to go to hell. You know that. You are going to go to hell. If you don't know before, I'm talk, talking to you as a child of God, as a man of God to you, then you will find yourself in hell if you don't correct your, naked, your naked dressing. Jesus was killed because of his naked dressing, of her naked dressing. You will be killed and punished by Christ and send you to hell if you didn't repent from your dressing. Amen. Praise the Lord. Then, if you dress nakedly, you are promoted from the Number six, the, the disadvantage or the, the, the repercussion. David saw Uriah's wife. And it was enticed. Number seven. If they see your nakedness, people will be enticed. They will be enticed. Uriah's wife, David saw her naked. When she was naked. She was naked. You know that the king lived in that very area. She was trying to naked to, to... She was the one that attracted King David. If you dress up like this, David will not be enticed by Uriah's wife. Never. They will not be enticed. Because... Uriah's wife was very close to the king. Their house was close to the king's house. And so, she knew. She realized that David is at home. David did not go to war. And what did she do? She dressed nakedly. And what David started from the upper chamber of his house. He said, go and call that woman. That was a married woman. And David slept with her. And David committed adultery. Amen. And so, that was the woman. And eventually, they killed the husband of that, of that very woman. So that David can marry, can marry her. What am I saying? If you dress nakedly, you are enticing your opposite sex. These days, we don't to entice our, 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 our the same sex. But now, we now have, not have you know, homosexuals and lesbianism. Everybody has to cover up. Whether you are with a man, man to man, cover up. Woman to woman, cover up. Yeah, I see women just touching the other woman, you know, backside. Touching butters. It's a sin. Even though you are not touching another woman, it's a sin. It's a sin against God. Is a sin. So women can be enticed because they promote promiscuity and they promote lesbianism and homosexualism. Praise the Lord. So as, what am I saying tonight? You must cover up your nakedness because the journey day is coming. Amen. Cover your body well, just as a Christian. You see that God will help you. Praise the Lord. Let me take some excerpt here before we round up our message. This is my book, my new edition. Cover your nakedness. 
my new edition of my book, dressed as it should be addressed. That is chapter 9 of the book. Take some excerpt from it. And the Bible says that whosoever name is not find the book of life will be cast to hell. Are you ready to go to hell? Or are you ready to repent? Amen. Amen. There is sexual seduction and Christian dressing. So, 1 Corinthians 8 12 said, But when ye sin against the brethren, and when they are weak conscience, ye sin against Christ. Christians, if you sin against the brethren, amen, and when they are weak conscience, because if you go to church naked, people are weak. You are making them to sin against God in the street everywhere you go to. Please, Christians, let us just wear cover up wear. Amen. It's a sin against God. So there's a purpose for dressing. There must be Christian not dress well. The abuse is inevitable when the purpose of a thing is not known. God dressed Adam and Eve properly dressed as the primary purpose of dressing to cover up. God covered it up. Are you covered up? You must cover up yourself as a Christian. And don't dress nakedly. Amen. And so, this, you must dress properly to, have, to avoid seductions. Dress properly to avoid seduction of other people. Because sex workers or sex promoters, sex commercial sex workers, they use dressing to attract their clients. Are you a commercial sex worker? Or commercial sex workers in the church, you want to search for people to come and come and visit you, to come and ask your hand to commit fornication with you, or commit sin with you. Why are you dressing naked? That's all that change. Choir member change. Soloist change. Let us cover up our body and not dress naked. Praise the Lord. Go away as possible if you don't dress well. Amen. We must dress well so that God will be happy with us. Be a good example in dressing. What people see, what people say about you matter. God is concerned about what people say of you because you are his representative on earth. Praise the Lord. You represent Christ on earth here. You represent Christ on earth. We must present Christ where? In our dressing. The Bible says of Matthew 17 from verse 24 to 27. It says we should not forget that the prince of this world, the accuser of the brethren, is watching to see offenses in us to use against us. We must set a goal limit to our liberty in dressing and teach our children to do the same. We must set a goal limit. I went to an office to do some papers, present some papers, and some of African people were there. We were waiting to reach our town. And I saw a lady talking to another lady. He said, Why do you dress so seducively? He said, Try that, right? He's supposed to dress well as a woman. So the other woman feels very remorse for talking to her like that. She was trying to accept that it's good. Next time, we will not dress immorality. Immorally. Another woman just came and said, Leave her alone. I like the way I like what I dress very sexy. You have to dress. This is a married woman, just as sexy. To who? To the devil? To promote what? We must all cover it up. Whether you are married or you are married, why? You are a Christian. You are a child of God. Let us learn this thing today. Because very soon, the Messiah will come. Amen. Jesus Christ is coming very soon. He will judge you. As many you lead to hell by your dressing, you must change your ways and repair your ways. Put your hands together. Cover up. Let not see any part of your sensitive body. And you're going to see that God will like you as a believer. I want to see the part two next time in our subsequent program. Please put yourself together. Don't condemn Christians that dress well. Rather, you be an example of a believer. And God will bless you and reward you for it. Because angels in heaven don't dress nakedly. 
the dress, if you see an Indian eye is covered up, are you ready to be an, an, an heavenly candidate? You must start to live well like Christians who live in heaven now before you go to heaven. If you don't live that kind of life, you will not, you will not go there. Because the Bible says the kingdom of heaven is within you. It's within you. Jesus Megare, Tola Beyabo Yemem, Abu Yemegare, Tola Beyabo, Tola Beyabo Yemem, Abu Yemegare, Tola Beyabo Yemem, Jesus Megare, Tola Beyabo Yemem, Abu Yemegare, Tola Beyabo Yemem, Abu Yemegare, Tola Yes, Oh, <laughs> God bless you. Amen. God bless you. God bless you.